Let's take a look at how you can remove blemishes from a photograph of a face. With this example file that I've taken from Caitlin Ater on Flickr, we have a photo of someone with a few blemishes and spots. So let's take a look at how you can remove them with Photoshop's tools. After the first divider in the toolbar on the left, you'll see a button that has the spot healing brush, healing brush and patch tools, as well as content aware and red eye. We're going to take a look at the first three as they'll do the job for the majority of what we need to do. Before we do this, however, be aware that we'll need to do a number of operations. So what we're going to do is extend our history states. Go to Photoshop, Preferences, and Performance. In here, set the number of history states from 20 to 1000. This will save a high number of states, but don't worry about performance because they'll be deleted when you save and close your file. The advantage here is that we won't lose the history states once we've done more than 20. So, select the Spot Healing Brush tool with J. This can be used to simply paint over a blemish area like this. It then uses a similar technology to Content Aware Fill by judging the pixels around and blending them together. We can continue to do this, moving around the face, finding different areas of blemish. This area on the cheek is quite a large area to replace. For this, we'll use the patch tool. The patch tool can be used by selecting an area, lasso style, and then dragging from within this selection to an area that you think might match it approximately. Photoshop will then blend these two together. You don't have to completely drag outside of that selection, you can just drag slightly, like I'm doing here. You can then select, deselect, or Command D, and you have a better replacement of that area of the face. You can continue to use this tool, dragging over small areas of blemish, and deselecting, or you can go back to the Spot Healing Brush tool. Another tool is the Healing Brush tool itself. This tool works similar to the Clone Stamp, where you hold the Alt key, click an area that's clear, and then Paint. Photoshop then will merge the two areas. So yet again, select a clear area whilst holding Alt, and then drag over the area that you want to replace. Remember that when using this tool, it's important to use a similar area of lightness. For example, if I tried to remove a blemish down at the bottom, but select a light area, it will replace incorrectly. So if I select here, and try and replace this part, the end result looks a little bit strange. So we can step back one in the healing brush. And instead, I'm just going to use the spot healing brush tool to merge surrounding pixels. Another nice way to boost the appearance of a face is to make the eyes look less tired. We can do this first of all by desaturating the whites of the eyes, which should help remove the red veins that you can see in some people's eyes. For this, we're going to use the Sponge tool. So click on the Dodge tool, and then choose Sponge tool. With this, we're going to zoom in, so Command plus on the keyboard, and then hold down Spacebar to drag to the area that you like. And we're then going to use the Sponge tool to desaturate. Make sure that the mode is on Desaturate, and then paint over the whites of the eyes to remove some of the red. I'm holding space to drag the canvas across. Once this is done, we can use the Dodge tool, which lightens, to brighten up the eye itself. Remember to use this sparingly to avoid that weird vampire style eye. On the keyboard, as with any brush tool, you can use the left and right square bracket keys to make your brush bigger or smaller. And remember to keep the exposure 50% or lower to avoid doing an immediately harsh effect. And also remember that you can always step back in the history if you need to. I'm holding space to drag the canvas across.
and now our photo is complete. We've removed blemishes, boosted the eyes, and overall we have a better photo. Let's compare this to the original, and again having done all of our changes. Thanks for watching.